What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're reacting to Let's Game It Out. I crippled the game by building to the heavens. You guys keep asking me to react to this. You keep telling me you need to go and check out Josh's builds. I know what they're like. They're crazy and he's 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 nuts. He's nuts. Like last I October I did this marathon thing. <laughs> I brought this flashbang thing into my into my stream and he kept just constantly flashbanging it. He was nuts. He just would not give up. The man's insane. As you know, I'm a big satisfactory nerd of over 10,000 hours in the game. I like to teach you guys how to play the right way and correctly. And if you guys have got any questions, I answer them. And this is the opposite. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. And uh, yeah, let's see what he's got to offer us. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Hey. I am Josh and we are Hi doing Josh. some Satisfactory doing? today. Satisfactory is a game where oh you make my efficient God. machines or in our case. The first thing you've got to give credit to is his mic quality. It's absolutely chef's kiss. And I've just noticed the old power poles. The old power, I'm probably going to see a lot of old things in this. And if you're new to Satisfactory now, you're going to see a lot of old stuff that you don't see now. So I'm going to try and keep away from that, but keep on topic of what he is, because that's going to distract me. It's going to distract me, all the old stuff the dumbest machines imaginable. We started with normal-ish looking machines that okay. had at least some semblance of order to them. Doing things normal is like the last thing on the list though. So after getting the hang of it, we took an efficient procedure and made it a little extraneous. But at least you can kind of see what's going on here, right? It's taking raw copper, it's turning it into copper ingots, and then it's turning it into spools of copper. Easy peasy-ish. But not content with that, we went ahead and took it another step. And we took a rather easy process of making iron rods and iron plates and made it um a little bit complicated. And that's pretty much what we're going to keep doing. Last episode. The spaghetti is real. The spaghetti is real. Oh boy. And this is going to get worse and worse. A bit complicated. Okay. And that's pretty much what we're going to keep doing. <laughs> There's nothing Last else I can say to we it. We also built the space elevator, which is this hulking beast right Best here. Best building space in the game. The elevator demands a sacrifice to unlock new stuff. Right mm -hmm. now, it wants 500 modular frames and 150. This is when the space elevator needed f bloody mortars. Wow. The motors. Those and aren't frames. so much hard to come by, so much as it's going to take a while to produce them. So we're going to make the machines that will do it all for us. Back at home base here, we also have a machine that Beautiful will unlock colors, Josh. Beautiful things colors. as soon as we give it the right materials. Basically, we select one of these milestones here. We unlock mm -hmm. it via the milestone cost, and then it'll unlock some select things. This My one's God. pretty interesting. It'll unlock a tractor. I think we can either automate or hopefully drive it around. We have a machine that we're going to use that we didn't use last time called the assembler, which we feed it to components and it'll make the stuff for us. That's going to require us to Beautiful fix a assembler. couple of things, though. Right oh now, my we god, have the this sushi lines. Unit that's that's a good point, rock. actually. He's got sushi lines. If you don't know what sushi lines are, it's when you put multiple items on a belt, but I don't think he's done it as intended for the way it is, I think. Um, but yeah, I've actually got a sushi line video up here. You might want to check that one out. Rods and iron plates. We're going to have to separate this out so it's only feeding iron rods so we can push it through with screws to the assembler. But this disaster here starts a long way back. Let's take a quick sprint across this conveyor belt to show what a mess I've made over here. You know, I made this bed so I got to sleep in it. But basically Wait, what all happened just... is I have a bunch of machines way the hell over here making the rods and the plates. And I had them feeding all the way over to home base where we just were <laughs> because I kind of wanted everything centrally located over there. So this stuff takes a pretty I've, massive journey. I've got so many questions what wait wait this whole that whole spaghetti thing is the plates and oh my god i think it takes like 15 minutes to get from start to finish because it has to go through all this nonsense so this is the beginning of the iron plates and the iron rods it's this ore we got three piles that get fed into these three machines here they get shot out as to iron ingots here they go into these three machines here the of which two of them are making plates and one is making iron rods mm -hmm. they all get pushed into this little merger unit here all this stuff goes into this storage container which then pops out the other end here and has that horrible horrible journey <laughs> in the background there this game is all about efficiency for other people. For us, it's about taking this problem and- That, that hurt, Josh. I'm just saying. If you see this, that, that hurt. For other people. I'm an other person. Making it worse. <laughs> oh, also, we're on an alien planet. Hey, its ecology, mop. basically. So pretty much our first task is going to be to separate out the plates and the rods. And I can think of a pretty easy way to do that. We're just not going to feed rods into this thing anymore. For now, the rods are just going to pile up here. This thing is now only spitting out plates. Over time, the rods will disappear from yeah. this conveyor belt. And hey, it, he's got to go around the whole 15 minutes of that thing for it to flush out, though. You know? you know what? Let's send these rods individually the only way I know how. 
now. Let's build an entire second conveyor belt system for him. All we gotta do is move this like that. The best part about the conveyor belt system in this game is it really lets you just put this stuff wherever you want. I think the idea is you can make it like dive first. So for people that know me, know the only clipping I, I accept as a player is anything that's static is in, inside a static. If something moves and goes through a static object, that's a no for me. That's a no. I, I, I have, like, my brain just doesn't allow me to do it. It literally just goes, okay, we, I need, I would run to the other side of the map if someone told me in chat, like, you've just put something through the wall without you knowing. I would run all the way back there to fix it to come back again, you know? And, and normal and stuff, but that's not really what we do. So instead, we abuse what they allow us to do. One of the comments I got was that we should try and see how high this thing can go, and I can think of no better way to do that than to try it on our blessed rods here. So, like, I think if we, uh, just do a U-turn like that, just making a nice coil of pipe here. The best part about this so far is I know it's gonna look terrible. Why is so he it taking turns out this? we're a little too close to the space elevator, and when that happens, we actually can't keep building, and it turns out He's I gonna can remove just reposition it, isn't the space elevator. So if I just grab this whole thing, does it just disappear? Yep. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so Bye. let's reposition the space elevator a little bit farther away. Look at that, we get to watch it build again. There we go. Just a little bit further away. Surely I won't get close to it again. I'm still working on the tallest conveyor belt ever. While I'm working on it, let's go ahead and get the assembler set up. We can have it building stuff while we continue to work on that. Okay, we'll just put our assembler down right there like that. The thing is, the joys of Satisfactory is you can do whatever you want, you want right? You can build however you want. You can do whatever you want within the game. You can alight, set your factory up, and nobody will have it identical unless somebody was to copy you piece by piece. That's what makes it a great game. That, we're gonna feed it these beautiful rods. So before we send it straight into here, we're gonna do something a little more awkward first. You're gonna split We're gonna it. use a conveyor splitter. Yeah. We're gonna send the rods into the conveyor splitter here. Here they come. One of these sides will indeed split rods right here into the assembler. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we're gonna set up a constructor over here. To make and screws. we're gonna run one of the other splits right on over to the constructor. And we're gonna set it like he's making to make screws. And then we will connect the thing that makes screws right on over to the assembler. Screws. And rods, yeah. screws, you ask? Here's our assembler, and we're gonna need to make all of these things. To make rotors, we need iron rods, which we're already making, yeah. and we're gonna need screws. Mm -hmm. And to make reinforced iron play, we're also gonna need those screws. Yeah. Because then eventually, we're gonna need to make these modular frames that are also going to need reinforced iron plate. So it's just gonna do us a world of good to have a lot of screws yep. going on. Right now, I have rods and screws both going into the assembler, and now we're gonna set the assembler to make a bunch of rotors. There we go. Things are slowly feeding in. What's just come to mind is what's powering all of this. I don't know if it's in another video, but let me know. Into this machine, the assembler's making them for us. Now we can watch as our beautiful rotors come out. And you know, actually, no sense in stopping there. Let's set up another assembler so it can be working while we mess around with something else. And instead of having the screws feed into just this one machine, we're gonna erase this part. We're gonna put, put down another a lovely splitter, down. splitter here. <laughs> one of the Split screws goes over there, and the other screw goes into that assembler. I've also adjusted my three constructors over here to only make plate now, which you can see is filtering into this guy here. And we're gonna send that into the other end of this assembler. And we're going to set this assembler to make reinforced plate. And now we can watch the miracle of life as our beautiful reinforced plate makes its way down the conveyor belt. Okay, brace yourself because the frame rate gets real bad. I spent a few hours building this out and uh, I can't tell you how high you can build something because I never got there. But I can tell you that it can go at least this high. It kind of eclipses the space elevator at this point. Something tells Do you want to know? I've got to. I've got to give credit here for something. But look how perfect the cone shape is. That is just mad. That is mad. And back then, that performance would have been insane. the The, the, the game now has come so far when it comes to performance. And that is because, fun fact, if you don't know, the devs actually took Josh's save um, to actually do some and pull data from to find out how they can make it better and optimize the game. 
So if you didn't know, it tells me yep. you can go a lot higher up, but it's just the frame rate gets so bad that I just can't do much to get there. <laughs> I have to like look away from the thing just to not get killed by the frame rate. Let me give you a quick tour of it. It's to my advantage to stare. I like how he's looking away from it. Because he knows if he looks at it, it's going to cause him really bad FPS. <laughs> just look, he's, he's running just sideways because he can't stare at it. Like, look away from the thing I just to not get killed by the frame rate. Let me give you a quick tour of it. It's to my advantage to stare straight out at the beautiful scenery, because if I look straight up, this is what happens. Oh, mercy. Oh, my Hell God. It's like you're being born again. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what. It's... It's... Yeah. Oh, slideshow. <laughs> we gotta actually get these rods going somewhere, so I have to at least try to finish this conveyor belt in some way. Just gotta keep on climbing. Ah, and here we are. It's pretty beautiful up here until you turn around and decide you want to see into oh the my heart of the- God. Oh my god, look at all the rods just going around it. Wait, the Mark 1 belts as well. Oh my god. The beast. Oh god, I fell. Oh god, my frame rate. What's happening to my guy? Yep, there he goes. Just there into the void. Goes. We're actually too high to be able to just build anywhere else but back down the way we came. So that means let's pull out our guy here. How far can I just launch this thing down? Wait, Pretty far as it turns. He built it to go up and now he's bringing it back down to actually use the rods. Is that what he's doing right now? Turns out, I'll just skip ahead because this it's going to be a lot of this. It's going to be a lot of this one frame per second stuff. Look at that. Towards the bottom, you can see my handiwork. That's what's eventually going to bring the rods back over to us. Millions of years when it finally gets through this whole cyclone. And for maximum irony, I've just run this thing in a straight path to where it's supposed to go. Now, the silver lining is we have all these plates we can use to upgrade stuff instantly. Not only do we have... I'm not going to lie. I would, I would want to be a fly on the wall when he does these videos. I would love to be a fly on the wall and just watch the chaos happen and just to see what goes through this guy's brain. <laughs> and this right here is insane, but you got to love it. You gotta love all it. All those reinforced plates. But we also have all of these rotors. My god, this thing can basically blot out the sun now. That side of the map is now totally quarantined. We're gonna have to start building over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and unlock whole power. This sure sounds exciting. So let's give it some cabling and some copper wire and a bunch of rotors. There we go. Launching. Well, would you look at this? We have a vehicles tab now. And there's our tractor. Well, you're gonna let's need build coal. a tractor. Oh, look how cute it is. I'm gonna put it right here where I might not be able to get it out there it is uh <laughs> i didn't realize we'd be able to see my little dude here dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> oh good it has a horn oh yeah here we go no honk, this honk. is the life and i'm stuck already maybe i can make it out right here huh uh-huh yep there we go that's what i'm talking oh about easy, now he's just doing easy, the hurdles uh -huh, all right we can also locate coal now which is what we're gonna do mm -hmm. tell me where the coal is really no coal anywhere wait oh there's fun fact for you if you're new to Satisfactory, there is a location cool. right here that a lot of people... meters. Let's go, boy. A lot of people fall down. There's literally a hole just over here. And every new Satisfactory, including myself, I was one of them, always falls down a hole. You don't see it. It's well hidden. And as soon as you go down there, you're just getting chased by spiders. Everyone falls down. If you, if you was one of them, Put it in the comments. Let me know. Boy, oh, you know, I don't have enough fuel for this. Let's back up real quick. Uh-oh. I seem to have left the <laughs> gas pedal going. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, okay, it's fine. Yeah. It's just hanging out over here. I guess it's making a home for itself. I'm going to let it have some alone I think he's going to the call where the void is. It. I'm definitely going to have to get rid of this thing at some point. I can't actually, like, play the game with <laughs> this thing here. Like, everything is just chopping so bad. The next thing we're going to upgrade is to the rebar gun. So let's go ahead and feed it all the things it just wants. Shoot a dog with go. it. And launch. Let's go over here to our workshop and build the gun. All right, rebar gun, come to me. Oh, look at that, huh? Here we go. Put a piece of re... Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just going to fire it on my own equipment. Why not? Dump. Yep, that's rebar, all right. Can't wait to use my single fire rebar shooting thingy on a creature that didn't... In update six, that's changed, isn't it? Because now you get automatic rifles. Uh, well, not automatic. The rifle's already been in there, but you've got the, the tracking and all that kind of stuff now. Deserve it. All right, where's the car? Hello, car? Are you out here? Oh, there you are. Did you tire yourself out or what? Oh, geez, sorry. All right, we're nice and refueled. Let's get out of here. There we go. There's the coal. Heading oh, he's going to go into the void. Oh, he's going to go into the void. Here. Why did I take the car for this? Whatever. Out of the way, nature. I don't care if there's a drop off. This is the way to the coal. Yep. Tell me where the coal is. I. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not good. You think the vehicle's going to be okay? He's lost yeah, his vehicle, vehicle, but he'll get okay. all his stuff. In heaven. <laughs> 
Oh no! Because oh, all of his stuff will stay like on the edge shows of the cliff. Me where my body is. Like, I don't think there's any coming back from that. But I guess let's go check. Oh, how considerate! All my stuff mm -hmm. is just right here. Hey, do you guys want to bring back the car too? Car would be nice. <laughs> well, while I'm out here, sans car now, I might as well see if I can find that hole anyway. You want to know a crazy thing? If your vehicle goes into the void. It's actually in the game forever. It will actually it will teleport to the center of the map underneath the, underneath the map. But so if you was to throw one hundred down there, you'll have one hundred in the center of the map. They don't disappear. They don't despawn. Okay, easy guys, easy fellas. Damn it, that's where the coal is over there. Well, mm -hmm. no wonder the car couldn't get over here. Is there any way over here? You know, I'm starting to think there's no way over there. Sometimes I'm looking around and I'm like, uh oh, am I lost? Do I have like a guiding star or something? Oh yeah, I sure do. <laughs> On the plus it's side, as a the beacon. Grand Cyclone has finally started to deliver rods. Okay, so I restarted the game. That seems to have helped the frame rate a little bit. I mean, unless I look right at it, but let's Still just look at try it. not to do that. Before we go and build oh, I love that. Jeep, Did you see that? The FPS he was getting here, like, like it's like a, what's it called? A um, PowerPoint presentation. But then when he dips his head behind the hub, look how smooth it gets. Unless I look right at it, but let's just try not to Ugh. do that. Before we go and build another Jeep and try to find that coal, let's start knocking out some milestones. We'll do this one just for the hell Mark of it. Two, get them next belts. Belt Mark 2, which is great and all. Transports up to 120 resources per minute, which is double the Mark 1, which is what we're using right now. But like, if we click over to Tier 4 here, we already have Logistics Mark 3, which will give us Conveyor Belt Mark 3, which transports up to 270 resources. Of course, we're just going to go straight to that, even mm -hmm. though it needs like a bajillion motors and i don't even know how to build those yet but we'll learn the motors though we do unlock we just have to do steel production we'll just go ahead and give logistics mark II all the things it needs and launch time to While unlock new the belts pod to return so we can do another upgrade let's find the best place to put car number two down again we're still looking for coal quick scan let's see what we got let's see what's over here 600 meters that means we'll put the tractor right i think he's there. going to the one on top of the beauty. tower now oh, don't face me that way uh, on top of like a little mountain around. next to some iron oh there we go i've got a good feeling Feeling about this. Whee! What's this thing? Out of the way. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Come on. We'll just take the long way through Wait, the enchanted forest. He's, go he's going How to the bloody... do I get up to the coal? Bloody crazy. Are you guys going to force me to come back with conveyor belts? Because I'll do it. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, 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 oh. They don't seem to want me to get up there the natural way. Oh. That's fine. Let's head back to home base, pick up some supplies. Let's unlock another Buck milestone. Clenches. This time we're going to do steel production, which is going to unlock all kinds of good stuff, actually. And launch. Look at this new stuff I have here. Miner Mark II. Look at these crazy materials it needs. Encased industrial beam, steel pipe. And then we've got this. You got you to gotta love that. Early, early game encased industrial beams. Crazy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't... I know he's done the drones, so he is on tiers 7 and 8. So he knows what's in the nuclear section right now. So I don't know if he's going to, I don't know if he's got a new video on this, but. Thing not what under smelters called the foundry smelts two resources into alloy ingots so we're gonna mm -hmm. go climb up to that coal the old-fashioned way and then we'll see about extraction whoa what the hell what is this Drop looks on. like a crash site do you have any stuff i can take Ooh, reinforced plate i'll take that what are these are these beams can i have this Ooh. Ooh, some motors <laughs> i like it what about some body parts you got any body parts <laughs> around here press e to open drop pod just Let's like a hanging leg just right. off the thing Battery broken ah oh, geez we need to charge this thing just to open it that's fine i just happen to have all the materials to put a biomass burner down right here. Ta-da! Okay, let's just give this thing a little power. A little juice. There we go, and now let's... What's the problem? Oh, Jesus, are you serious? So we need something more powerful than that. Well, what if I hook up two of these things? The second burner right there. Put a power line right here. Connect this to that and this to that. 20 and 20, so 40 should do the trick. And now let's connect this power line to that. All right, nothing blew up. Let's see if that worked. There we go, operational again. Let's do this. Hello, Get the hard drive. We, uh, a hard drive? Well, don't mind if I do. Well, we did it, boys. Close up all the resources. We're going home. I love that you can do this. I love that you can just suck up the whole factory, put it back in your pocket. All right, well, that was great. Let's go get that coal now. We'll analyze that hard drive when we get back. So oh, we need to get up there. Pee -pee if making that tornado has taught me anything, conveyor belts can get that done. There's no way, right, that I can just take a conveyor belt and just aim it straight up here. Conveyor yep. belts is too long. Okay, we'll see about that. There we go. <laughs> totally sound, driven by physics. Let's finally take a look at this coal up here. It's like untamed country up here. He, here he, he just does not give a shit. He just does not go. I, 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 you got. I, I love it, but that, that's 
Okay, just me, I would have gone round. Any other player would have gone round. Josh? No. Let's just go up there with belts. Oh, look, it's beautiful coal, which obviously we're just going to send down a conveyor belt. And that's just going to go right here. There we we're go. Gonna take and to it. power that, we're going to put a, ooh, look, a coal generator. Burns coal to generate electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding coal can be automated. I have a great idea. We're going to build a coal generator right behind it. So between these two things, I'm going to put a conveyor splitter right about there. I'm going to run a conveyor belt from the front of this thing into the splitter. And I'm going to have the other end of this feed right back into the machine. Put a little power line right there. Connect this guy to here. There it goes. Now here comes coal going this way. Goes into the splitter. Heads right back in and powers itself. Oh, yeah. That is fantastic. All right, we still got some stuff left to do, but I hope you enjoyed what I did this time around. That's going to do Wait, it for this episode it? of Let's Game It Out. I will see you Damn. next time. That was absolutely nuts. And for a person that does... um content for a satisfactory i don't think you realize how long that would have took him to build and to do all that especially within frames that's absolutely in like mind-blowing to be honest the patience this guy has is absolutely nuts so if you don't know who josh is please go in the description go and go and give him a click and uh, subscribe to his channel because uh, he's worth every single click that he gets the content is absolutely insane He's just got an entertaining personality and he's just an all-round great guy. So go and check him out. Show him some love. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe. And uh, if you want me to do another one, let me know. I'll try to reach out to him to see if I can try and get the save. If I can do that, I just want to explore it. I want to see the chaos in, in, in first person. I'll see if I can try and do that. Without further ado, keep smiling. And I'll... Uh, I'll see you in another video.